here in Acton, Massachusetts, starting up another one. Um, kind of got into it yesterday, forgot to do a little walkthrough video, so you'll see some of our materials scattered around, but kind of give you a good idea of what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to create a bit of a more natural style front entryway, something that makes a lot more sense. You can see the circulation of this walkway currently doesn't really make any sense, kind of sends you off to the front yard. Uh, they don't really have a yard, so we're going to redesign that. We're going to come through here. Obviously, these guys are redoing their driveway. This is kind of why we preach about underlayments and, and the proper base preparation underneath our patios, driveways, anything you're doing hardscaping wise. As you can see, when stuff kind of rots away or erodes in a weird way underneath, this is what happens. You get these massive potholes. Uh, this driveway obviously wasn't prepped correctly from the beginning. Same thing with the walkway. Kind of has a lot of weird bumps in it, grass growing through, growing through the cracks. You know, this is this wasn't prepped correctly, so we'll make sure that, that all that's done the right way. What we're going to do is have an entryway here. We're going to do our style of natural stone slabs. We're going to create some stairs. We're going to have a walkway out of the same material done. Um, we're going to plant everything in here. We're going to have big boulders up on the side. It's going to be kind of crazy. I'll take you up to the front. As you can see, walkways are supposed to be flat, not mogul fields. So that's another thing that we're talking about with the base preparation. But we're going to give them a much bigger front yard. We're going to kick the walkway in a bit. We're going to redo all the plants along the front foundation. Lots of natural stone on this one. Walkway should come right around here, and then we'll send you down a nice stair set this way. As you can see on the trailer, we've got big large format natural stone flagging this is for a back patio that i'll show you in a second this stuff's awesome really nice texture to it really cool look non-slip all sandblasted off it's, it's really really nice stuff uh, i'll take you around to this side we're gonna do matching stair set is over here we're gonna do it right here same thing that style stone big huge format lead you right up here Get rid of all these small rocks and do it our way. We're bringing in big dogs over here. This is how we like to do it. If you're gonna go do something, do it big. That's gonna look sick. We're gonna run all that natural flagging all the way through here, all the way in here, right over to the stair set. And then the clients requested they have a really nice run of older PJM rhododendron. So what we're gonna do is create kind of a secret garden feel back patio for them. We're going to redo all the grass back here. Have a nice grass path over from their new deck across this way. You know, keep the circulation nice from the deck over. In here is the secret garden area. Uh, with these nice PJMs, we're going to plant something here to complement them really well. Um, then all that large format natural stone flagging will be all through here. Those giant boulders you just saw, they'll go in here. We're gonna do a really cool looking fire pit. We're not exactly sure what we're doing yet. We're just gonna see the rocks and make it work, but it will look really nice. That'll come out probably to about here. We're gonna continue that wall around. We might have a couple other tricks up our sleeve for this corner, but we don't wanna get into that yet. This is all conservation land, so we're gonna do a nice woodland style planting across the back here to kind of blend the whole theme and then we'll run it right back out into grass around this corner and to the kids place that it's going to be a pretty sweet one we'll show you when we're done all right we're back at our uh, project in acton where we did kind of our signature style of a ton of custom cut granite uh, live edge stairs I'll come show you this is the front stair set here as we discussed in the before video we did some bouldering throughout, kind of give it that ledgy feel. Um, I think it looks really natural when you do that. These are all live edge, custom cut stairs, built from big boulders that we cut down. Um, and then we bring that to a large format walkway. Really smooth walking surface, small joints, really easy to shovel in the winter. Really proud of this one.
We also did a matching stair set in the back. Oh yeah, also associated plantings all around. Really nice hydrangeas up top. Those will just get a little bit bigger than they are right now. Be really beautiful another month from now, but you can see they're starting to flower. As we come down the walkway here, we always try to keep an even depth on all our stairs. Uh, it makes it really easy to walk. Same thing back here. Got nice even transitions, nice easy walking stairs. Associated plantings, everything's planted where it should be. Stuff that needs water gets more water. Stuff that needs more sun is in the sun. It's just what we do. This transitions to their new back deck. Looks really nice. And we built a wall across the back there. Uh, again, our place boulder style. Kind of an easy way to give it a natural look. And then our favorite part of the project, this is secret garden back here. So as we mentioned in the first video, we weren't sure what to do with the fire pit exactly. Uh, we found these stones, we thought it'd be a nice angle. We knew that they were gonna set the chairs up like this. So that's how we did it. We did one big backer stone here to kind of fit into the theme of this boulder wall. We used really large format stone, again, all custom cut. Um, we did the pattern ourselves on site. And then the clients weren't sure whether they wanted a bench or a table as a custom granite feature. So we decided to cut this big boy, which is both, we call it our Babel. Um, can be used to sit on, it's good sitting height, but it's also, as you can see, perfect to drag a chair over, throw your drink on. Super proud of this one. We surrounded it with nice shade plantings as this is mostly in the shade, which is nice on a hot day like today. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to come back and show you what we do. Roots and Rocks Inc.